So while we're on the topic of subspaces, I feel it's necessary to answer this question. Is R2 a subspace of R3? So initially we may think the answer is yes, because as I said in a previous video, we can think of a subspace as a space that is entirely contained within another space. So if I draw a three-dimensional coordinate system that represents R3, where we have our X, Y, and Z axes, then right away we can notice that this XY plane is entirely contained within R3. And typically we associate this XY plane with R2. So we may come to the conclusion that R2 is entirely contained within R3 and because R2 also contains the origin and it is closed under scalar multiplication and addition then we may conclude that R2 is a subspace of R3. But actually this is wrong. R2 is not a subspace of R3. And that is because only three-dimensional vectors exist in R3 and only two-dimensional vectors exist in R2. So these vectors that form this plane that I have in green in R3, these are actually the vectors 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0. These are not the vectors in R2 which are 1, 0 and 0, 1. So in general we can define a rule that Rm is not a subspace of Rn because m-dimensional vectors exist in m-dimensional space and n-dimensional vectors exist in n-dimensional space.